really focusing on immigrant integration in the United States. And at the center, oh, can we go back one? Okay. We're really trying to um, get at data, scholarship, and engagement. So we really focus in on doing rigorous data collection and analysis, um, focus on academic work, but then also uh, really engaging community in our research to make sure what we're finding in numbers really makes sense on the ground and what people are feeling. Um, so um, we can go ahead and we, in that, we work on, we try to do all our work in partnership with community groups or civic leaders or funders um, and um, <laughs> okay. So just really quickly, when we say immigrant integration, we're not talking about assimilation. We're talking about improved economic mobility for, uh, enhanced civic participation by, and receiving society openness to immigrants. Um, you can go ahead. Um, so. Really why we think this is important is because of the changing nature of the country. And you can see from this graph that um, for the United States overall, by the year 2040, they're estimating that it will be a majority minority country. Um, but, you can, but right now, all of the children being born are already the majority minority children. Mm -hmm. and we can also see that California is leading the change um, and that we've already become a majority minority state. Um, and you can see from this graph that 47% are, at, this happened as of the, the 2000 census data. 47% um, were white, and then we have 32% Latino, 7% black, and 11% Asian American. Um, and then here again, you just see these are projections as we go further out. Um, it'll just continue to grow as a, as a majority minority. Um, and here, this graph shows you that uh, immigration is playing a key role in the demography of California, but it's really leveling off and not growing at, at, high, at a, um, as high of a rate as the nation overall. So you see that as we level off, the rest of the nation is really growing much further. And then within California, Los Angeles County gets by far the majority of immigrants um, to the state, but Orange County is the second largest, uh, has, uh, is attracting the second largest number of immigrants in California. Um, and then this is just to show the importance of immigrants in our communities. And for example, in Los Angeles, one in three uh, residents are immigrants. Uh, nearly a half of the workforce are immigrants or foreign born. Uh, the children of immigrants are about two thirds of the children in Los Angeles. And nearly 90% of the children of immigrants are US born. So they are citizens. And then um, an outflow and kind of suggestion, but basically this is just showing the differences in the immigrant compositions of Los Angeles County versus Orange County. And you can see that in Orange County, uh, Korean Americans make up the third largest number of, of uh, immigrants to the county, and in Los Angeles, they're the fifth largest. So you can see that after, in, in Orange County, it's after immigrants from Mexico, Vietnam, and then Korea. And in LA, Mexico, El Salvador, the Philippines, Guatemala, and in Korea. So I'm going to now turn it over to Justin Stark. Okay, so um, Korean immigrants and Korean Americans are clearly an important part of the population in Orange County, um, but there's not a lot of information about this population. And part of the reason for this is that the most detailed population and housing information is collected each year by the census, called the American Community Survey, or the ACS only interviews about 1% of the U.S. population, and this often isn't large enough of a sample to get detailed information on Asian subgroups group, such as Korean Americans, and particularly at the county level. Um, so this is why a more focused survey, such as one being done by KRC, is really important to understand this population, 
Um, and another reason it's important is because the ACS doesn't ask all the questions that might be of interest, such as questions around politics and policy. Um, you can go to the next slide. As an example of these sort of questions around politics and policy that uh, we can kind of uh, learn the answers to from this survey, uh, uh, I'll just discuss a little bit of the analysis we did last year uh, of the November uh, USC Dornside LA Times poll. Uh, this poll was uh, designed to represent public opinion among voters in California and uh, took place during the time of the midterm elections. Uh, what was somewhat uh, unique about this poll is that it, it included what's known as a, called an oversample of Latino and Asian Americans, which means that uh, these groups were sampled in a greater proportion than their share of the overall population. Um, and this, as well as an, another good technique they used, was uh, they allowed respondents to be interviewed in their native language, and they had, you know, uh, people doing interviews that could speak all of the most common uh, languages um, among the many languages spoken among Asian Americans. So both of these factors uh, likely contributed to the fact that this poll uh, was the most accurate in terms of predicting the gubernatorial and senatorial election outcomes, but it also meant that we were able to use the survey data to look at differences in public opinion between uh, white, Latino, and Asian Americans in California. Slide, please. So in our analysis, of, you know, one thing we looked at was the vote for governor. And here we can clearly see that uh, Latinos were most favorable, most voting in favor of Jerry Brown, uh, followed by Asian Americans at 60% for Jerry Brown, uh, followed by uh, whites with the least support, about 47%. Next slide. Um, so while clearly Asian Americans voted uh, Democrat, does that actually mean that uh, the majority are registered Democrat? Well, this graph shows that it's actually not the case. Uh, among uh, non-Hispanic whites, they're about equally likely to be registered as Democrat and Republican. Um, Latinos were heavily Democrat, but Asian Americans were notable for the large share uh, registered as independent. And you know, in this election, they kind of went Democrat. Um, next slide, please. Uh, in terms of issues of immigration reform, here we see that from this poll that all groups showed broad support for the DREAM Act, with Asian Americans uh, just about similarly supportive of the DREAM Act as non-Hispanic whites, and Latinos showed Latino show no support at 86%. Um, when we look at other issues of immigration reform, we see that uh, Asian American views are more in alignment with Latinos, and in this case we see that um, you know, in terms of, of a policy that would re reduce the waiting time for getting visas for, for family reunification, uh, Asian Americans and Latinos showed really strong support at over 80%, while non-Hispanic whites were only 70%. So there's a lot of, uh, you know, similarity on some issues. Uh, in terms of uh, addressing the state deficit and taxes, among Asian Americans who were supportive of a tax increases, increase, uh, they were more likely to support an increase in taxes on businesses, uh, similar to uh, Latino Americans, uh, and different from uh, white Americans who are a little less likely to support taxes on businesses. There were questions about civic engagement, and this graph shows that, uh, you know, during the 2010 midterm elections, Asian Americans showed some of the lowest levels of civic engagement in terms of contributing money contacting a politician, or working with the community to solve a problem. Next slide, please. So, uh, you know, in summary, uh, Asian Americans are a really diverse group, and there aren't a lot of, aren't, isn't much survey data available that allows one to look at particular subgroups, such as Korean Americans. And that's why we're really excited to be uh, partnered with KRC in this project, so that we can better understand the Korean American population in Orange County. Um, the fact that this survey is really focused on Korean Americans in Orange County should ensure that the results uh, more accurate, accurately reflect um, the population. But as with any survey, the response rate is also very important. So we would encourage everyone to participate and fill out the survey. When we get the, all the data, we're going to conduct some exploratory data analysis using standard statistical techniques to help KRC better understand the community 
And we hope to have, uh, we're sure we have some results available by April of next year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <웃음> 그래서 저희 민주학교에서는 이러한 이제 설문조사 응답을 받기 위해서 여러 가지 활동들을 어, 시작을 하고 있습니다. 어, 그래서 지난 주에는 어, 이런 이제 설문조사 내용이 우편을 우편 어, 오렌지 카운트 유권자들에게 발송이 되었습니다. 그래서 그 첨부한 그 미디어 패키지 첨부해 드렸고요. 어, 이런 내용들이 이제 오렌지 카운트에 사는 다섯 개 도시 모나파, 어, 어, 가든 그로브, 어, 폴로턴, 에나하임 그리고 어드바이. 이렇게 다섯 가지의 이제 한인들이 제일 많이 살고 있는 어, 도시 중에서 어, 유권자 투표율이 중간 정도, 어, 유권자 점수가 20, 20점에서 70점 사이 유권자 1만 명들에게 어, 저희들이 이제 현문자를 발송을 했고요. 어, 그래서 이제 이거 기대 이제 응답률은 한 8% 정도 되고, 그리고 그 밖에도 오렌지 카운트의 주요 한인 마켓에서 어, 유권자들 대상으로 어, 직접 현문자를 받고 있습니다. 아울러 이제 전화로 우편을 어, 받은 분들에게 선문조사를 하도록 리마인더 드리는 이제 활동도 진행되고 있습니다. 어, 그리고 어, 선문조사 내용은 <웃음> 유권자들이 어떻게 선문조사에 참여할 수 있는지 어, 잠깐 알려드리도록 하겠습니다. 어, 일단 첫 번째는 어, 우편으로 받은 선문조사를 작성하는 거고요. 그리고 어, 어, 유권자 선문조사는 아주 간단하게 어, 질문이 18개밖에 없고요. 그 중에서 실제 이슈에 대한 질문은 다섯 개 밖에 안 되는 아주 간단한 5분이면 작성할 수 있는 설문조사입니다. 어, 그래서 이제 설문조사 작성해서 저희 민주학교로 보내주신 방법이 있겠고요. 그리고 이제 그 점수가 저희 목표치 점수 안에 안 들어가서 평물을 안 받으신 분들이 있는데요. 그걸 자주 안 하시거나 또는 최근에 등록하신 분들은 평물을 안 받으시는데 그런 분들은 저희 민주학교 웹사이트에 가셔서 이 주소로 들어가셔서 어, 인터넷에서 어, 설문조사를 작성할 수가 있습니다. 그래서 저희 설문조사는 11월 동안 어, 내내 유권자 어, 설문조사를 받을 계획이고요. 제가 아까 말씀하셨다시피 1월에서 4월 사이 늦어도 4월까지는 어, 어, 정보를, 기, 어, 정보를 취합하고 어, 분석해서 발표할 계획입니다. 어, 네, 그러면 유권자 설문조사 그 소개 기자회견 이것을 마치고요. 어, 질문의 시간을 받, 받도록 하겠습니다. 시작을 예, 우편물로 지난주에 우편자들에게 발송이 되었습니다. 2월 31일까지만. 예, 12월 31일까지 어, 답변을 받습니다. 그 대상이 네. 누구라고 하셨죠? 한인 유권자요. 한인 유권자 중에서 네. 투표율이 중간 정도에 있습니다. 네, 그리고 그 어, 선거, 선거 정보 시스템에서 유권자 점수라는 게 있는데요. 유권자가 얼마나 자주 투표를 하느냐에 대한 점수거든요. 그래서 점수가 20점에서 70점 사이에 유권자들. 메일링 하신 게만 명한테 네, 1만 명이 이번 저 메일링 들어올 그 에스티메이션이 8% 예한 8% 정도 그런데 이제 유권자는 만 명이고요 실제 그 가구는 5천 가구니까 한그 어, 5천 가구 중에서 8%를 받을 것을 기대하겠습니다. 오렌지 카운티 한인 유권자가 한 어, 3만 명 정도. 5만 명 정도 됩니다. 그래서 한인 유권자분들이 이런 설문조사에 많이 참여해서 한인 유권자들의 목소리, 한인사의 목소리를 주기사에 전달하는데 많은 도움이 되도록 참여해주시는 이야기를 이것을 마치고 개별 질문이 있으시면요 어, 끝나고 마치 어, 받도록 하겠습니다. 감사합니다. 